everything. So let's get the debate started. Can Guilty Gear take the place of Street Fighter? The obvious answer, someone might argue, is no. <laughs> right? Someone might argue that no, you cannot replace Street Fighter with Guilty Gear. Sure, that's probably true. However, can Guilty Gear build up enough game cred? I would say street cred, but game cred where uh, people are now paying more attention to Guilty Gear than they are to Street Fighter. Because right now, you can argue that that's what's going on within the fighting game community. Street Fighter just had his big update, and yes, it's got lots of um, fans, but I can tell you one thing for sure. When I sign on to play Dragon Ball Fighters, and I'm trying to get a match, I'm not waiting that long. But I, I, I have legit memories of waiting 15 minutes to get a match in Street Fighter. It doesn't sound like something that's uh, striving. <laughs> so so to speak, right? So I'm wondering what's going on with that. Anyway, uh, I think that Arc System is now becoming more sh mainstream uh, than it's been in the past thanks to this Dragon Ball Z title. And depending on what they do with Guilty Gear and how they market it, maybe it's possible. You know, for eventually it to be the, the big contender. I would have to look at Cells and Street Fighter to, to compare it. But um, right now, it's definitely got the visuals, the play style, and the variety of characters needed to make that happen. So that's just an interesting question. Maybe it's deserving of a video in and of itself. I would say that it is. All right. Let's see this next match. Man, Lita looks like she could put the damage on for a good while away here. But yeah, she could put the damage on. Goodness. Yeah. So pokes are going to be a, a good major part of her, her game. And I like that. She doesn't have to put herself in danger. And if you like that type of play style, then that's the type of character you're going to want, right? Me, I like to play it safe, attack safe, come in. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters doesn't really give you that option. It's very uh, offense heavy. But I like being able to just poke. That's my type of gameplay right there. And it looks like Lara Ram Lethal can do it. Now, for a character like Nagi, and that's what I'm going to nickname him. For a character like Nagi, he has to get in close. But when he does, he does the damage. But you see what what type of playing he's going to have to deal with. Let's see how Goichi counters that. And if you want to watch the full match, please, I'll definitely put a, a link in the description below so you can watch it. You'll see a skip at some point here. And that's only because um, ads pop up, so to edit that out and make a video, I had to do that. So pretty, as you can tell, once he gets in, it's not hard for him to uh, rain hell on, on someone's parade. That's for sure. Okay. Yeah, that counts gonna make a big difference in getting people's pressure off. That helps. Classic Guilty Gear staple. Yeah, look at her pokes. I, I love it. Okay. Nice pokes to be safe. Yeah, see him, Nagi, having to be forced to rush in like that. That's gonna be a problem. Yeah, especially in a game where other characters can do, well, they look like they can do as much damage as he can. They may not have, they may have to stream more attack together. Granted, but um, in a game where he has to, because Guilty Gear is a very mobile game, and um, if you have to constantly be grounded and you can't like run up safely and attack, and and, and it's very mobile game it puts your character at an extreme disadvantage and that's what i'm seeing for our samurai friend here let's keep in mind he is this is goichi playing with him too 
I'm sure more things will come up with him. Then he has that pesky blood games working against him, so I'm not sure. And when you look at championship matches, usually they're not consisting of big characters. Um, and when it comes to fighting games. I hope they give him some good defensive options too. So when people rush down on him like uh, Fox is doing here, we can do something about it. Rare Lethal just seems like she's going to be a complete problem. One of the reasons why I wanted to pick her because, I mean, the ability, the ability to be able to poke and do that much damage safely is it's outrageous. Oh, look at his defeat. When, when he gets defeated, he just lands on his hand. All right, let's see what Miller's got. Maybe Miller would do better than Nagi did. I don't know. I think Ram might be a little bit OP. But again, I'm trying to Fox is playing with the character. Look at that. Again, yeah, see that? That is. Yep. Ram Lethal's. I would not be surprised if Ram Lethal ends up being a top tire character. Not even a little bit. <laughs> And if, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, you're thinking the same thing. Because to definitely make a short work of uh, Miller here. Or maybe Sonic Fox is telling Goichi, yo, bro, go, go pick somebody serious. It'll be interesting to see um, a key versus Ram Lethal match. I want to see that at high level. See how those two styles. Because he has projectiles that can counteract her Pokey style. He can definitely bring you the damage. But uh, right now, she's looking like she's going to do, do harm. Yeah, look at that. Ridiculous. Anyway, this is DeepMind255. Out.